Sabbath, everyone. It is so good to have you here with us in EJC Virtual Church. Welcome to the Christ, the Cross, and His Coming Evangelistic Series. My name is Ruth Russell Hutton, and I'm from the Rollington Town Seventh-day Adventist Church, and I'm one of the hosts for you this evening. I now hand over to the debonair host that I have to my right. He'll introduce himself. Thank you very much, Ruth, and allow me to add my coat of welcome to all our viewers who are online and those in studio right now. I want to say happy Sabbath to you all, right, Ruth? Happy Sabbath. Sabbath. What a blessed day this is. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. it. And so we want to we want to thank you for joining us. We already have 490 persons on our YouTube route. And what, what is our Facebook like over there? And so we have early uh, viewers online, Ruth Moriana. We have uh, Sister Reed right there. Lorraine Silent, you are on. Trinidad is in the house, Ruth. Look at that. Carissa, <laughs> you are from Trinidad. St Stefan Wilson, welcome. What do you have right there, Ruth? I love it. I love it. I'm looking for a particular post I saw earlier. This particular person said... Caswell Rodney. Caswell, you're good like goal. I have to pick you up this evening on the Holy Sabbath day of rest. You know why I have to pick up Caswell Rodney? Go ahead. Caswell Rodney posted that, I'm assuming I, invited 77 persons wow. today. So wow. far, 27 are Ooh. online. Bless God be Lord. praised. Amen. I am monitoring them. Amen. And, Amen. and that post came in at 625. So there's a high, high possibility that there are far more than 27 now online. Because, well, I love it. Anybody else can share their there are numbers of persons yes. that they've invited. Yes, who is able to beat that? Yes, we need somebody to beat Caswell beautiful, this evening. Beautiful, beautiful Right, we're throwing down the, 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 the gauntlet. So anybody who can say that they've invited more than 77 persons this evening and that more than 27 of them are online, please drop it in the chat. Amen. Amen. I, I want to shout out right now, Ruth. Shauna K. Evans. She's right there in the chat. She says, greetings. Yes, she's telling me greetings who made sure that I joined tonight. Well, I'm happy you came on, Shauna. I did invite you. And in fact, I'm happy to say that Shauna is on the brink of giving her heart to the Praise Lord. Praise the Elder Lord. Powell. She has been listening to the word of God and she's convinced that God should be her Lord. Welcome, uh, Sister Evans. We're happy to have you on. Francesina. Barrett, that's my friend right there. She got baptized on Sabbath. Amen. And she's in the chat worshiping on the Sabbath day. Nicola Nixon of Philadelphia is in the house room. Look at that. I got JTSDA TV Woo. in the house. Man, Woo. where are you from? Drop it in the chat. Where are my visitors? I'm going to come right back at you. We are happy to be here with you. Welcome again to the Lay Evangelistic Association uh, Evangelistic Series. The LEA ho, 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 Evangelistic. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Drop, drop, drop. Draw donkey break, Cello. No, draw. <laughs> okay, you breaks. do this every evening. And you come with all these big highfalutin terms and phrases that our visitors and the persons who are joining us for the very first time don't know nor understand. No, you say that you are the you are the person in charge of the visitors online. You go <laughs> above and beyond for these people. Oh, yeah. Please. Tell oh, yeah. them, what does LEA mean? What it, is Leti all about? That's a good question. For my visitors and for my members who are not too sure too, the LEA, like we said, Lay Evangelistic Association, we call them the Leti. In fact, that's the arm of the ministry that is not a part of the clergy. So you have the clergy, which represents the pastoral arm, and then you have the laity, which represents you and I I, 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 I suppose, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are a part of the laity. And you're online, you're a part of the laity. God is counting on you also to make mention of his coming, to spread the good news of salvation. So guess what, Ruth? You are a part of your series because uh -huh. you are a part of the laity. Ruth, Amen. you are a part of the laity. Yes. Yes, and that's why you're a part of this series. So you're online on Facebook. You're on YouTube. You are a part of this series. And that's why you're here to help him to make this possible. God's got a special blessing for you. So welcome again. And we hope that your heart will be thrilled tonight as we fellowship and worship. And the topic for tonight, Ruth, give us an early heads up. The topic for tonight, paid in 
full. I hope you heard that. Paid in, in full. full. Not half, nor three quarter, mm -mm, no nor three quarter no, and a half, no nor word. three quarter mm -mm, and three quarter. No, 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 in no. In full. In full. Wow. But you know, Selvin, wow. before we throw over to the praise team, in the space of the three minutes that we've been here, the chat in the on YouTube has morphed from 450 to 679 persons. So we welcome it's you all. It's now 695, Ruth, there you by go. my check. I don't know if my phone or my service is faster than yours. I don't know who your carrier is, <laughs> but that's a discussion for another time. Uh, another I'm now at time. 700. Praise <laughs> team, raise the roof a little higher so we could get some more. By the way, you all need to share this because tonight is going to be a special night and you don't want to get this blessing all for yourself. What should they do, Ruth? They need to subscribe, like, and share on YouTube as well as Facebook. You search for EJC Virtual Church. Easy as pie. So copy the link, paste it in all of your WhatsApp chats, and invite everyone to come take a seat in their living rooms, the bedrooms, wherever they are. Turn on those devices and join us so that we can celebrate Jesus in the fullness of glory. Amen. Amen. Ruth, you're going to introduce the praise team, but I have to shout out uh, Rachel Martin, who is coming to us from Poughkeepsie, New York. All the way. Poughkeepsie in New York. Look at that. What a blessing. And I Welcome, have to shout Rachel. out to my friend uh, Trevine Little. I see you there saying happy Sabbath to Sister Lawson. Trevine was one of the hosts in, in, the, in, the, in the very first week, uh -huh. I think. Yes, yes Trevine. Yes, you yes, are still yes. in the chat. You're still pushing on. And that's wonderful, Trevine. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead, Ruth, and introduce the praise team so we could have some wonderful music to star our soul. The praise team is waiting anxiously, Ruth, <laughs> to bless our heart through the auspices of the Holy Ghost. So this evening we have the group Harmonix from the Augustone Seventh-day Adventist You have to say Church. that name again. Harmonix. 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 Wow, from the Augustone. Yes, from Seventh the Augustone. Seventh-day Adventist Church. And just the name tells you how sweet. Uh, I'm hearing the music already. There Get you ready. Go. Get ready. Harmonix. Harmonix. Over to you. Closer than a brother, my Jesus is to me. He's my dearest friend. He's everything I need. He's my rock, my shield and hiding place. Closer than a brother, Jesus is to me. Closer than a brother, my Jesus is to me. He's my dearest friend. He's everything I need. He's my rock, my shield and hiding place. Closer than a brother, Jesus is to me. Daniel's God surely will deliver. Daniel's God surely will deliver. If you only look to him by faith, Daniel's God surely will deliver. Oh, Daniel's God surely will deliver. Daniel's God surely will deliver. If you Surely will deliver. I want to go to heaven and rest. Oh, yes. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. I want to go to heaven and rest. I'm tired of staying down here. I'm tired of the troubles and trials. I want to go to heaven and rest. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man, the winner man. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man all the time. Jesus is the winner man, 
the winner man, the winner man, Jesus is the winner man, the winner man all the time. He is the winner man, 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 the winner man. Jesus is the winner man, the winner man all the time. I am on the winning side, the winning side, the winning side. I am on the winning side, the winning side all the time. The winning side, 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 the winning side. I am on the winning side, the winning side all the time. Have you heard of the Advent Church of God? How she is moving according to prophecy. For the Lord is her leader, and by faith she must conquer. Have you heard of the adventure? Oh, have you heard of the adventure of God? How she is moving according to prophecy. For the Lord is her leader, and by faith she must conquer. Have you heard of the adventure? Sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Lift up your hands. Don't be ashamed, let us sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Sing until the power of the Lord comes down. Lift up your hands, don't be ashamed. It's coming down, hallelujah, when the glory of the Lord is coming down, hallelujah, when the saints began to pray, and the Lord shall have his way, and the glory of the Lord is coming down, lift Jesus higher, 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 a little higher, just a little higher. Oh, 
Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. Mm -hmm. Moving, moving. Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. It's moving here, moving there, just like the day of Pentecost. The Holy Ghost power is moving just like a magnet. That's right. The Advent Church is moving just like electric. Electric, electric. The Advent Church is moving just like electric. It's moving here, moving there, just like the day of Pentecost. The Advent Church is moving just like electric. Jesus' name so sweet, Emmanuel name so sweet. Jesus' name so sweet, Emmanuel name so sweet. And every rock me rock upon Jesus, Jesus' name so sweet. Every rock me rock upon Jesus, Jesus' name so sweet. Jesus' name so sweet, Emmanuel name so sweet. Jesus' name so sweet, Emmanuel name so sweet. And every rock me rock upon Jesus, Jesus' name so sweet. Every rock me rock upon Jesus, Jesus' name so sweet.
Harmonics. Listen, Selvi. Worthy is I love. needed that song so badly. I want the person in the chat who this situation applies to, just raise your hands and shout out hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give us the highest praise. Give God the highest praise right now. We need some hallelujahs going on because the sacrifice that Jesus made for mm. you and for me and for Ruth for all of us wow it's worth the highest praise hallelujah praise the lord you know you know ruth i've come to learn that a lot of persons are okay with jesus being their savior but not their lord Ooh, problems, problems so let me let me unpack that for a second for the, for those mm -mm. of us who are worshiping online look we are so happy that jesus sacrificed himself god sent his only son and, and, and to remedy our condition but when it comes to jesus saying you should not and you should do we have a problem ruth but let me tell you my problem that i had prior to harmonics singing that song this week was extremely stressful long working hours and a lot of personal emotions bubbling up day and night and I came here with a lot of baggage but as we sat we prayed we listened to the songs it's as if the stresses of this week just started to melt Wow! and I had to say worthy is the Amen. lamb Amen. hallelujah I'm gonna say one more worthy thing worthy is the lamb Sean okay you are not alone mm. where we you know you have company you have company your situation your trials that you're experiencing now they will be your testimonies tomorrow because we worship the king of kings the lord of lords the conquering lion of the tribe of judah he hears he knows and you see how powerful music is selvin absolutely it just absolutely. melted wow the stresses of this week literally off my shoulder so if you had a amen. similar experience amen we're gonna ask you to raise your hands in the chat and say halle Hallelujah. Yeah, whatever you can do. Some of us are not so good at the gadgets, you know. But whatever you can do. And a lot of hell hallelujahs have gone up in the chat. Ruth, the saints are, yes. are just thankful to God. I know you would have come here uh, with your struggles. You would have come with a rough week. You would have come with your burdens. You would have come with your trials. We're going to be praying too. And there's the spoken word that is going to lift your heart heavenwards. You know, you would have come with all kinds of mayhem. And I've, I came to Ruth. Not with the most excellent of week. I came to with my little trials. But as you said, when the praise team lifted us heavenwards, wow, I felt, I literally felt my load. Shit, look for, where my load? Where are they? Where are they? Oh my God, God. Paid I'm, 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 I'm in loose. Full. Paid in full. Paid look at that. I'm full. loose right now. Praise I feel like I feel like running, skipping, and <laughs> praising praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're gonna get some relief tonight. Your burdens will be rolled away tonight. Your hearts will be lifted heavenwards. God's got a breakthrough for somebody tonight. Ruth, Amen. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for Ruth. I'm excited for me. Shana Kay, I'm excited for you too. You're from Connecticut. I'm excited for you. You're from Canada. I'm excited for you. Hallelujahs are still going up. We've got, up. We've got, we've got 1,374 yes. persons right there, Ruth. What a blessing. 1,374 hallelujahs going up. Whoa! Whoa. A whole lot of praise. praise hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Give the God Lord. the highest.
highest praise it's a praise night tonight it's a sabbath and we're celebrating like we really should on a sabbath day and i'm happy that you've come to celebrate with us you hear the music in the background that is heavenly Woo! Woo! i'm loving it yes. i'm loving it i'm loving tonight it's a blessed night on the blessed day ruth what a joy amen so just before we go into the prayer we're going to ask our chat monitors to post the links for prayer requests. If you would like to be baptized, if you would like to have lessons, baptismal lessons, we're inviting the chat monitors to post those links for all those that can see. So if you are in need of prayer, if you want to make that step to give your life to the Lord, press that button. Click on that button now. And this is the beginning of the best decision that you could ever make in your entire life amen amen jennifer barrett your daughter in the hospital mm. to deliver that baby god sees that request the requests are coming through people are praying for breakthrough shauna k we remember your father yes. saint martin you are here the prayer requests are coming in and, and more than that ruth when you click that link you are registered to us and we, we know you now and we can call you by name you know we don't want this prayer, prayer session to be a one night stand you no, know no, yeah no, once no, we no, have no, you no. on our scroll we'll continue to pray for you where are my visitors by the way where are my visitors will, will you put v in the chat I my visitors it. i cannot come I off right it. now without seeing those v's in the chat my visitors drop the v's in the chat shana k i know you're gonna drop that v in the chat drop that v in the chat and let us say a big amen ruth i'm getting excited Look and i'm about to get carried on. away you and your visitors are going to get carried away and the lady is waiting to do the prayer so visitors hurry up and put the v so that selvin selvin yeah. can feel a whole the lot v's better. are coming in yes. Dolores davy yes. i see your v kyle i see your v i see your v uh marita i see your v Ju well take time on musa fast i see <laughs> you I, I can't keep track gloria hall i see your v marvel of my visitors the v's are coming in uh evangelists uh, 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 uh basil powell the v's are coming in look at that elizabeth wilson ah uh, dane lewis i see your v herma gordon your v is right there marita garner i see your v look at v's 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 popping up on praise oh the praise lord. the lord praise my the visitors lord. are here tonight and you're in for a special blessing my visitors i want you to click that link and request that prayer request that bible study let us be friends now and forever and, and every now and then you might have one of the evangelists would call you you might have a prayer counselor call you you might you know what you got a whole lot of friends and you don't know it so when you click that link you'll recognize that you got a whole host of friends that god has prepared for you so be sure to click that link my visitors thank you for coming and i'll see you again a little later on ruth we now turn over to sister millicent allen from the white hall seventh day adventist church who will be praying for us sister allen over to you i invite us to assume an attitude of reverence as we pray master savior redeemer and friend there is none like you and as we gather before your presence this evening lord we just want to come with a heart of gratitude for your amazing love for keeping us going for keeping us vibrant and joyful in sitting at your feet and hearing your word but tonight lord as we come some may come hungered to be fed some may be naked to be clothed. Some, Lord, might be mentally disabled and disheveled, but we know, Lord, at your presence, we will have wisdom. Father, Lord, some may be weak, but we pray, O oh God, that you will strengthen them just now. I pray, O oh God, that the proceedings of this evening's worship will only give you adoration, glory, and praise that your name be magnified and that your name will be exalted in the earth and father lord we pray that a soul will be one for your kingdom so father minister to us through your holy spirit and we pray that all angels secure the platform that we're about to use 
and that everything that is done will only give you praise, honor, and glory. We pray in none other than the name, the creator, Jesus. Amen. on the topic, Making Worship Fun for Children. What is worship? Worship is joyful praise. We joyfully praise God and His Son by giving them thanks for whom they are and for what they have done. Worship should be a custom, a way of life, a habit. Sister White counseled that the Father who is the priest of his own soul, should conduct the morning and evening worship. She said there is no reason why this should not be the most interested and enjoyable exercise of the home life. And God is dishonored when it is made dry and irksome. She said let the seasons of family worship be short and spirited. 
Do not let your children or any member of your family dread them because of their tediousness or lack of interest. She said, when a long chapter is read and explained, and a long prior offer, this precious service becomes wearisome, and it is a relief when it is over. She said, select a portion of scripture that is interested and easily understood. A few verses will be sufficient to furnish a lesson which may be studied and practiced through the day. She said at least a few verses of pretty song may be sung, and the prayer offered should be short and pointed. The one who leads in prayer should not pray about everything, but should express the needs in simple words and praise God with thanksgiving. And that comes from the signs of the time, August 7, 1884. So how do we make worship fun and not a chore, as mommy and daddy mandates? We plan ahead. Plan ahead. So you plan the songs, the scripture reading, the activities. Think like a child. Think about the age group that you're ministering to. Teach what the concept and the phrase mean. Use songs and words that enforce biblical truth. Repetition. Repetition is key. Choose three or four songs for the month. This enables them to learn the song, and they will know the songs before the month is out. Choose a Bible passage and use it for a month. Have a book of the year for each age group. This is not difficult. We have so many resources that we can use to teach our children about God. Use motion. Physical movements reinforce what the songs teaches. So you can you imagine if you're standing and singing, Jesus' love is above the over. No, man. If you're singing around the wall of Jericho, our father Abraham, you will have to sing, Jesus' love is a bubbly. And Father Abraham, a many son, and around the wall of Jericho, around the wall of make worship exciting. But then, you have to know when to be still. Silence and meditation are skills that we need when life gets busy. Sometimes we sing silly songs to our children, but we must know when the silly song needs to be put away. Make worship fun. Give out worship challenges. Let them create their own songs to share in worship. Dress up when you're telling them Bible stories. You know, simple things around the house can be used. For example, we can use a simple um, pillowcase. A simple pillowcase will allow us to, you know, simple. And then we have, and right away, we are straight out of Bible times. We have shawls, and mommy, we have a lot of these around the house. So, simple shawl, because these are coming from way back, you see. Simple shawl, and we use these to change our appearances. Hmm? Now we are in Bible times. We can use sheets. There are some things that we have around the house that simple things that we can use. Use props and get your children engaged in worship. Use puppetry. And if you do not know how to do puppetry, call some of the ASI missionaries. They will teach you how to do this. Make friends with technology. Oftentimes, we shun away from that. But there are some things now that are so easy 
for us to do with our children. You know, um, Sister Gina has a video that she sends around each day. And these are some of the things that we can use to engage our children. Make friends with technology. And if you're going to be using technology at Sabbath school, ensure that everything is prepared beforehand. Do not wait until Sabbath morning because sometimes it will fail. So ensure that your everything is set up and you are able to present to your children. So make friends with the technology. Let them draw, paint, sculpt. Yes, sculpt. So can you imagine if you are teaching your young ones about how God created man? And you use a yeah, we can go outside, we can get clay, or we can use play dough, eh? And we fashion the man. But you know, one of the blessings is that they can realize that we cannot blow breath in a man. God the creator blew breath in man, and man became a living soul. So we use heart, we use art to teach biblical truth. And we use object lessons. Several things around the house can be used as object lesson. Think about it. Think about it. And if you plan and prepare, you will see these things coming out that you can use as object lesson. Sister White again said the use of object lessons, blackboards, maps, and pictures will be an aid in explaining these lessons and fixing them in the memory. Make home a safe place to practice worship. Allow them to sing, explore, ask questions. We should not be afraid for them to question our faith because it's by questioning that their faith is cemented. So, allow them to ask and uh, answer the question truthfully. Just said again, it should be the special object of the heads of the family to make the time of worship intensely interested by a little thought and careful preparation for this season. When we come into the presence of God, family worship can be made pleasant and will have the result that eternity alone will reveal. Parents and teachers should constantly seek for improved methods the teaching of the Bible should have our freshest thoughts, our best methods, and our most earnest effort. Education, page 186. So, friends, as we teach our children to worship God, remember, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Our children are not only miniature adults, but they are candidates also for God's kingdom. Let us endeavor to make worship a time for them that they will look forward to, they will run and come, and that they will not go under the sheet and hide. Have a pleasant evening, and thank you for this day. Good evening, brothers and sisters, visiting friends, everyone who is joining us online, whether you are here with us in the limited uh, constraints that we're living in, um, whether you're here in the sanctuary or you are online, we are happy that you have joined us once again for our series. As we celebrate and declare the good news of Christ the cross and his coming, we now invite you to participate in a special act of service, an act of worship, in fact, by giving as we ask you to bring your offerings and your gifts in giving to the cause.
And as you do so, we ask that you contemplate, what is a life worth to you? To Jesus, it was worth everything. And so, now we ask that you, as we are exhorted in 2 Corinthians 8, 9, remember how generous the Lord was. He was rich and he became poor for us, our sake, so that we may be rich in his poverty. And so, to give online, we have made special arrangements to that you may give to the BNS account of the East Jamaica Conference, check in account 53511 at the back, Bank of Nova Scotia, as I've said, or you may contact us in this regard by emailing mportiusjmsda.net or kmanningjmsda.net. For those of us in the sanctuary, we will be waited upon by our deacons. Let us count it a privilege to join in the cause of Christ and give generously as you invest in a, wor a cause worthy of the life of our Savior. And this is the type of gift that will keep on giving for eons into ceaseless ages of eternity. Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have invited us to join in this noble and momentous mission to win souls for your kingdom. And God, we can do so by returning a bit of what you have entrusted us with, because you own everything, God. And as we exercise our stewardship responsibility, we want to think of those who have not yet heard the good news. And so, God, we ask that you not only bless the series and bless our speakers, our lay evangelists, as they herald the good news of eternal life, and what each of us may do to take hold of it, which is a free gift, although it's priceless. And so, God, now we ask that you bless the offerings so that they may be multiplied in the impact that they will have in advancing this series and winning souls for your kingdom. These mercies we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Good evening to everyone. It is indeed a pleasure for me to introduce to you the, the speaker for the Christ the Cross and his, event, and, uh, his coming evangelistic series with Basil Towell. Elder Basil Towell hails from Litchfield, a small farming community in the parish of Trelawney. He has been a member of the church since 1997, as president of the Zone for Lay Evangelistic Association of the East Jamaica Conference, he currently leads the work of the laity in that part of the vineyard. He holds membership at the Morant Bay Seventh Day Adventist Church, where he also serves as church elder, Sabbath school teacher and personal ministry leader. He is actively involved in ministry and has an insatiable love for evangelism. He has conducted several evangelistic campaigns, shared the gospel in many fields, and believe it's part of his responsibility to help others prepare for the imminent coming of Jesus. In his professional life, he serves as bursar at the Murray Bay High School. He's happily married to Joy Williams Powell, and they are the proud parents of two wonderful adult children, Rochelleine and Rochina. I am sure that Evangelist Powell will allow the Holy Spirit to use him, and we are grateful that he has decided to make himself available to be used by the Lord. Let us pray that God will continue to use him to deliver the word night after night. And may God bless us as we listen to him. 
Somewhere beyond the grave There is a land Where Jesus went to prepare With his own hands And for the saved by grace There is a resting place And in a few more days It will be mine Some call it heaven But I call it home Some call it dreamland Some call it paradise Somewhere beyond the sky Some call it heaven But I call it home Someone say you can go Back home again Things will not ever be as good as it seems. But I've got good news for you. When heaven comes into view, oh, what goodness you know the best is yet to come. Some call it heaven, but I call it home. Some call it dreamland, let me dream on. Some call it paradise. I call it home Some call it heaven But I call it home Some call it dreamland Just let me dream on Some call it paradise Somewhere I call it home Some call it heaven Somewhere beyond the skies Some call it heaven But I call it home I call it Some call it heaven. Some even call it paradise. But to us, it is home. We just want to thank Sister Williams for that wonderful message, that encouraging reminder that better days are ahead for the people of God. Tonight, I am excited to have so many of you online worshiping with us. We just thank God for your support and the fact that we can fellowship online and worship together in the beauty of holiness. There are so many individuals joining us from across the globe, and we are grateful. We just want to specially acknowledge you this evening as you partner with us in this very important mission for salvation, of salvation. 
there is a group of believers that have been supporting this campaign from Rugby SDA Church in the United Kingdom. And when I look at the difference in time, because they're about six hours ahead of us, Elder Stewart, that I can't help but acknowledging the tremendous sacrifice it must be taken for them to be online with us live. And for those individuals across other fields on the globe, we recognize your sacrifice and we just want to tell you how grateful we are. We pray God tonight that as we examine another subject from the word, that all of us will be closer drawn to God. For our visiting friends, and I am elated this evening to see the number of non-Adventist friends who are online with us. We bless God for you, and we hope that as you worship with us, we will not only be closer as it relates to the virtual situation that we are in, but will be knitted closer together, bonded by the blood of Jesus. We thank you. And we encourage you to continue to join us as we worship together. Let me just do a little bit of correction. Last week, it was said that the series will be running for three weeks. I think that might well have been on the basis that it is three evangelists that are involved in this program. I'm happy to tell you, however, that the meeting continues for another week. And we are anticipating your faithful and continued support. Tomorrow's message looks at the dark deeds of the Antichrist. And as the week progresses, you're going to be hearing several stirring messages coming straight from the pen of inspiration. And so we welcome you online as we continue to lift high the name of Jesus. Amen? Permit me to thank... Pastor Heslop, for his kind words of introduction. And of course, I really have to pay my gratitude to Sister Williams, Sister Tristlin Davis Williams, for her ministry in music. As faithfully, she ministered to us every single night. And I cannot end the acts of gratitude without acknowledging my immediate family. My children, Rochelle and Roshina, and Rochelle's family, Chris and my grandson, Joshua. And top of it all is the tremendous support that I have consistently received over the years of my ministry from the sweetest loveliest, most wonderful, Joy Williams Powell. Uh, uh, Elder Selvin, you see, some people long for joy. Some people wish for joy. Some people just want to have joy. But I just marry her. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Tonight's message is captioned, Paid in Full. Paid in Full. And I want to challenge you from early to prepare to make a commitment for God. Because tonight we are going to see the length and breadth of God's love. And as we 
see his love. I believe that our natural reaction should be a full surrender. So there are some of us who have been walking with God for long. Some have just started. Some are still in the valley of decision. But tonight, I want to encourage you to get the courage and to break free. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Eternal God and our Father in heaven, tonight we acknowledge your sovereignty and we declare yet again that you are the only God. There is none else. Truly, there is no God like you, Jehovah. We just bless your name as we come. And ask, Father, that you will touch my brain cells as I open your words to your people tonight. Pray, God, that as we Dwell in your words that heaven will come down and glory will fill our souls is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Paid in full is our subject tonight. Death by crucifixion was one of the most cruel and shameful death that could ever be devised. It is supposed to have been invented by Semiramis, Nimrod's queen. It is said that she is the founder of the Babylonian system of mysteries. The crucifixion became a Roman practice that was inflicted only upon slaves and the worst of criminals. This form of punishment was so vile and cruel that it was a Roman law that no Roman citizen could ever be punished by crucifixion. You see, the person was nailed to a wooden cross. Each hand extended to as far as it could stretch. The feet were nailed together and then the cross was lifted and dropped in a hole that was prepared for it with violent force. As this happened, the whole body would tear, causing indescribable pain. The weight of the body would hang on nails through the hands and feet. A victim was left on the cross until he died of pain and indescribable suffering. This, my friends, was what Jesus went through for you and I. He didn't have to. But he did. The song man would have us to get a glimpse of the tremendous sacrifice made by Jesus. When he said he could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the world and to set him free. But thank God. I thank God tonight that he didn't. You see, when Adam sinned, the human family was thrown into a crisis. Immediately, we lost our immortality. Pain and suffering was now our lot. Death was now imminent. But when Jesus, our loving Savior, looked down the corridors of time, he saw you and I destitute and abandoned, miserable and hopeless. Something had to happen, Jesus thought. So I want to borrow the words of one of my evangelist friends. Uh, where is Jeffrey Harriet? Uh, I listened to Jeffrey Harriet describing the plan that was put 
in action for the salvation of humanity. And he described it this way. He said the divine triumvirate called a board meeting in glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit met together to put in motion the plan of salvation. As the meeting was called to order, Jesus, our loving Savior, said to the Father, prepare for me a body. The Holy Spirit found a virgin named Mary, placed in her womb the seed of the Son of God. Scripture could not find adequate words to describe this process, so the writer called him that holy thing. It was no artificial insemination. It was a divine incarnation. Jesus, the express image of the Father, the one full of the full, the one who bear the fullness of the Godhead bodily, became flesh and dwell among sinful humanity. John describes it this way. He said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was anything made that was made. In Him was a life, in Him was life, and the life was the light of men. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But listen to verse 12. It says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become sons of God, even to the, them that believe on his name. The cross, my friends, is essential to our salvation. It is the link between sinful man and a redeeming God. But as Jesus hung on the cross, placed between two thieves, one of them bellowed, If you are who you are, save yourself and save us. But Jesus knew his purpose. He had said in John 10 and verse 10, The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. He understood his purpose. He knew that he could not have saved us and saved himself at the same time time. So he decided to make the ultimate sacrifice. If he had saved himself, his purpose would be defeated. His own plan for human salvation would have failed. So I thank God tonight that he didn't. If he came down from that cruel cross, there would be no hope for us today. If he came down Hell would be populated. If he came down, Satan would be congratulated. I thank God that he understood his purpose and stood true to his mission. Because if he came down, the dead would not be resurrected. If he came down, salvation plan would be defeated. But I like how Isaiah puts it in Isaiah 53 and verse 5, it says, But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, praise God, we are healed. What a tragic yet fruitful role the cross of the Redeemer played. What can we see in the cross? In the cross, we see... Man's only hope. There is no hope for humanity without the cross of Jesus. In the cross, we see the weight. Uh, the weight of the cross was made heavy with the iniquities of our sins. Its roughness was a scaly, hard, was a scaly hardness of the human heart. Its sweaty, slimy, slippery surface was a clammy coldness 
of man's sin-stained flesh. But God, in Romans 5, the writer would have us to understand. It says, but God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, when Jesus was uh, when they mocked Jesus and, and had a, a false trial for him, they decided that he was guilty and they gave him the cross to carry. Jesus fell under the burden of the cross, but he did not stay down, tired as he was, weak as he was. He picked up his cross and motivated by the salvation of you and I, he went all the way to Calvary. I hear the man says, all the way to Calvary, he went for me. Jesus went all the way to Calvary to secure our salvation. When we feel tired in our Christian pilgrimage, when we feel weak, we too can be motivated by what Jesus did and pick up our cross, focus on Jesus and move on. The song says all the way, my Savior leads me. What have I to ask beside? Can I doubt his tender mercy who through life has been my guide? Keep focus on the cross of Jesus. Whenever the problems of this life gets you down, whenever trial seems hard to bear, when mother and father even forsake you, when husbands and wives turn their backs on you, when there are problems with the children and problems at work, just remember the cross. Just remember that burdens are still lifted at Calvary and that Jesus is very near. Just remember that Jesus is the burden bearer, the undisputed, undefeated champion of all. Christ's victories are our victories. We can claim them. If you fall down, don't stay down. Get up. Arise. There is no defeat in falling down. Defeat is not in falling down. Defeat is in staying down. But the songman said, turn your eyes on Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. If we keep our focus right, things will work to our eternal benefit. But no matter what condition you are in, dirty up by sin, let down and disappointed. Jesus is saying tonight to every single worshiper online, come now and let us reason together. I told you that we serve a reasoning God, a reasonable God, and he's inviting us into a reasoning relationship. There are times I know when trouble surrounds us, but God is our refuge and strength. There are times when burden distress us, but God will not leave us comfortless. There are times when life frustrates us, but God will not leave us hopeless. We serve a loving, kind, supportive God. There are times when circumstances batters us, beat us to the ground, but God is still a shelter in the time of storm. And we don't have to bear our cross alone. You see, loneliness is a tragic thing, my brothers and sisters. Loneliness is a tragic thing to experience. You see, a widow will spend all day pining over children who are, who are living far away. A, a teenager who long for the affection from parents who are too busy to give uh, them a little of their time. Uh, uh, that's loneliness. But if loneliness is tragic, being forsaken is far worse. You see, forsaken means to be left alone. It means utter abandonment. You see, Jesus was forsaken. 
He was forsaken to a degree that no man has ever known. He was utterly, totally, and completely forsaken. He was forsaken by the world he came to save. In John 1 and verse 10, the Bible says, He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He was forsaken by the nation from which he came. Verse 11, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. He was forsaken by the disciples he trained. In Mark chapter 14 and verse 50, the record declares, and they all forsook him. When he needed them most, they all forsook him and fled. Jesus was forsaken by his eternal father, even. When he hung on the cruel cross, Matthew 27 and verse 46, the Bible says, And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabathani, that is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Remember his agony in the garden of Gethsemane as our sins bore down on his holy brow. He, he turned to his father uh, with, with sweat that were like drops of blood and said, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass. But not my will, but thy will be done. He recognized that in order for humanity's salvation to be secure, that he would have to give the ultimate sacrifice. So he left the splendor of heaven. Knowing his destiny was a lonely hill of Golgotha where he laid down his life for me. I hear the song man says, if that isn't love, then the oceans are dry. If that isn't love, then the sparrow can't fly. That is love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. That is love. The ultimate sacrifice. The God who created us gave his life for ours. That is love. Friends, our, faith, our Savior was forsaken that you and I can be accepted. In John 12 and verse 32, And I, Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. There were three crosses on Golgotha's hill. On one side was the cross of rejection. On the other side was the cross of acceptance. But I thank God tonight that in the middle was a cross of redemption. You see, my friends, that the man in the middle became poor. That you and I might become rich. The man in the middle suffered hunger so that you and I can be forever satisfied. The man in the middle suffered thirst that we might have the water of life and never thirst again. The man in the middle was tempted that we might be delivered in the hour of temptation. The man in the middle became a servant that we might become sons and daughters of the living God. The man in the middle whip that God might wipe away all tears from our eyes. The man in the middle was troubled that we might have peace that passeth all understanding. The man in the middle was uh, exceedingly sorrowful that we might have exceeding joy. The man in the middle became homeless that we might have a home in glory. The song man reminds us that he left the splendor of glory. He gave up all for our salvation. Today we can sing the old gospel hymn. There is a fountain filled with blood. Drawn from Emmanuel's vein. And sinners plunge beneath that flood. Lose all their guilty stains. 
the dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never, never lose its power till all the ransom church of God are saved to sin no more. Thank God there is that fountain, a fountain to cleanse from all sins, a fountain that is open to all sinners, a fountain to which we can go at all times. I thank God for that fountain, a fountain that will never, ever lose its power. Grace open that fountain and grace will keep it open Praise God. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. Jesus said, I know thy works. Behold, I've set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. When Jesus opened a door, no man can shut it. Jesus has left the gate of sal the door of salvation wide open and sinners like you and I can step in and be saved. I hear that song man says there is power in the blood of Jesus. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Would you or even a victory to win? There is wonder working power in the blood. I know thy works, he said. Behold, I've set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. You see, the precious blood of Jesus is that fountain. It was shed for sinners and it was shed for sin. Its efficiency is infinite and eternal. It can cleanse the vilest sinner. Its virtue may be proven a thousand times over. It comfort the saints and it conquer the sinner. The fountain is wide. Matthew 11 and verse 28 is why Jesus says, Come unto me, all he who labor and are heavy laden, and I, Jesus, will give you rest. Oh yes, the man in the middle have the plan, the best plan, the sure plan, the rescue plan, the, the salvation plan. You see, Peter was arrested and chained between two soldiers. But the man in the middle had the plan, the rescue plan. Uh, Acts 12 and verse 6 and 7, it says, And when Herod, after he locked up Peter, the text says, And when Herod would have brought him forth, that same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keeper before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came unto him, and light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise, up quickly, and his chain fell off from his hand. Notice that God is in the rescue mission. God is in the rescue mission. And God is not interested in pushing people down. He is interested in the business of lifting people up. And so he said to Peter, arise. Your deliverance is coming. Whatever circumstances might have you chained, I want to tell you that we serve a delivering God who is willing to break your chains and to set you free. Israel was in problem. Pharaoh's army was behind them. But the man in the middle had the plan. The rescue plan. Yes. Exodus 14 verse 13. And Moses said unto the people. Fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. If you understand what was happening at this juncture. Israel was pursued by the Egyptians. Are we together? These were slaves that were just delivered by the mighty hand and acts of Almighty God. But the Egyptians, under the leadership of Pharaoh, decided that they should come back in bondage. And so they pursued the people of God. And as 
Israel looked around and saw fear of mighty army approaching. They recognized that they had a problem. Because there were towering mountains on their left. There were mountains on their right. In front of them was the Red Sea. And behind them, hot on their trail, was Pharaoh's mighty army. But Moses, look up from whence cometh the help of God's people. And then he still the people, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The text continues, which ye will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, he shall see them again no more. Let me tell you God's people. Some of you are going on through some bondage. Some of you are being stressed out by circumstances. The Egyptians are behind you. The mountains are beside you. The Red Sea is before you. But take courage. God is about to bring about your deliverance. I hear the song man say, Oh my comrade, see the signal waving in the sky. Reinforcement now appearing. Victory is nigh. Hold the fort, the chorus says, For I am coming. Jesus signals still. Wave the answer back to heaven. By thy grace we will. Victory is guaranteed for the people of God. Paul also had a problem. Death was waiting at his door, but the man in the middle had a plan, the eternal life plan. You see, Jesus don't sell insurance, but Jesus give assurance. Are we together? The, the best plan that you can have is the eternal life plan which is found in Jesus. Romans 6 and verse 23 reminds us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And that is why as Paul stood face to face at death's door, he could confidently say, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Praise God. The whole world has a problem. Lost, destitute, and forsaken we are. But the man in the middle cross has a plan, the salvation plan. You see, the man in the middle have the plan, the best plan, the sure plan, the rescue plan, salvation's ultimate plan. You see, my friends, salvation is a, is a state of being saved from sin. I, I, I don't want you to miss this my friends, salvation is a state of being saved from sin. You see, Longfellow could take a worthless piece of paper, Brother Selvin, write a poem on it and make it worth $100,000. We call that genius. Rockefeller can sign his name on a piece of paper and make it worth millions. We call that capital. Uncle Sam can make a piece of gold or silver, stamp an edge on it and make it worth a dollar. We call that money. A machinist can take the material worth 500 Jamaican dollars, make a piece of article worth $10,000 and we call that skill. An artist can take a piece of canvas and paint a picture on it worth 50000 that is art. But God can take a worthless, sinful, no good, washed. Talk to me. I say, God can take a worthless, sinful life like mine, wash it in the blood of Jesus, put his Holy Spirit in it, and make it a blessing to humanity. That is salvation. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me pure within? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Mark chapter 15 and verse 20. 
And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him and put his own clothes on him and led him out to be crucified. Notice what Jesus endured for our salvation. They lifted him up to be crucified. But that was one of the biggest mistakes that they made, Sister Hutton. Because John chapter 3 and verse 14 be a record. Jesus himself had declared, and as Moses lifted up the serpent into the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And then he said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Praise God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. The Bible reminds us, my brothers and sisters, that there is hope in Christ. If payday, the wages of sin is death, the, the text says, Romans 6 and verse 23. My question to you, listeners, worshippers, my brothers and sisters, if tonight was payday, how would you fear? You see, justice said death to the sinner. But thank God for mercy. Mercy say grace. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, my brothers and sisters, understand with me tonight, my visiting friends, that God has made every possible provision for you to be saved in his eternal kingdom. He left heaven, gave us heaven's best to secure our salvation and invite us now to come unto him. My appeal to you, my friends, who have not yet entered into a covenant relationship with our God, my appeal want to give God a chance. Justice say death to the sinner. But mercy say grace. Mercy say grace. And tonight I challenge you on this third Friday night in the series. I challenge you to give God a chance in your life. And so if you look in the chat you will see a link to a decision card. Look in the chat. The link is there. Tomorrow, we'll be having another baptismal service. And I want you to make a commitment to your loving Savior. He who left the splendor of heaven. Knowing his destiny and still went all the way to Calvary to secure your salvation and mine. I told you that on the cross there were three, on the hill of Golgotha, there were three crosses. On one side was the cross of rejection. On the other side was the cross of acceptance. And in the middle was the cross of redemption. You need to choose your cross tonight. The writer says, now is a day of salvation. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Three crosses. On one side, the cross of rejection. On the other side, the cross of acceptance. In the middle was the cross of redemption. Watch with me now as Sister Williams prepare the appeal song. The man on the cross of rejection said, if you are the Messiah, come down and save us. The one on the other side, he said, remember me when you go into your kingdom. Can I tell you, 
that as I visualize Elder Stewart, as I visualize that day on Golgotha's Hill, I couldn't help but seeing the sinner on the cross of rejection. Riling up in pain. S was so close to the Redeemer. And didn't make use of it. But as the man on the cross of acceptance. Turned to Jesus in his agony. Jesus made him a promise. I promise you today. You will be with me. In paradise. Just imagine that when that sinner reached out to Jesus, he fixed good on the cross. He was in pain and agony, but he fixed good, looked over on the dying sinner, and gave him hope. Today, tonight, as you listen to me, your situation might be chronic, but we serve a God who has the keys. Of all the challenges that we can have. As Sister Williams sing. I want you to open that link. And make that choice tonight. Make the choice tonight. For tomorrow is promised to none of us. Sister Williams. I stood in the courtroom. The judge turned my way. It looks like you're guilty. Now what do you say? I spoke up, Your Honor. I have no defense, but that's when Mercy walked in, mercy walked in and pleaded my case, called to the stand, God save in grace the blood Presented that covered my sin, forgiven when mercy walked in. I stood there and wondered how could this be that someone so guilty had just been set free my chains were broken I felt born again the moment when mercy walked in mercy And pleaded my case, called to the stand. God save in grace, the blood was presented that covered my sins, forgiven when mercy in the blood was presented that covered my sins forgiven when mercy walked in can I just tell you tonight that every single one of you have a visitor. A visitor called mercy. He's willing to walk in tonight. All of us 
are guilty and deserve to die. The wages of sin is death. But tonight, forgiveness and mercy is here. If you have not yet completed that decision card, I want to encourage you to do so right now. For forgiveness is available and mercy is here. Don't allow the night to finish, the meeting to finish without you making that surrender to Christ. Give him a chance. Shall we bow our heads as we talk to our God? Eternal God and our Father, tonight, Lord, we just bless your name and thank you for all the wonderful benefits we have enjoyed at your hands. But most of all, we want to thank you for the tremendous sacrifice that heaven gave for the salvation of humanity. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Thank you for his shed blood. Thank you for victory. And tonight, Lord, as your people contemplate the issue of salvation, and as decisions are made, we commit them into your divine hands and ask that you will seal them for time and for eternity is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. What a word. What, what a, a word. word. Ruth, mm. mercy walks in. Mm. Forgiven when mercy Ooh. walks in. Paid in full. Pay what? YouTube and Facebook. Are you blessed? Are you happy to know that mercy walks into your situation even right now? If you are happy, YouTube and Facebook, I want you to drop it in the chat right now. Just say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. What's happening over there on Facebook, And uh, as you're Ruth? talking, hold on, man. Don't, don't, don't rush me, man. Don't rush me. <laughs> don't rush me. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited. I have a special message I want to oh, deliver to man. a particular lady on YouTube. Shania and Ellis, we've seen your message and we note it. And we're thankful that you've been able to share with us. And Amen. we're looking forward Amen. to next week. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. know what next week means for Bless you. Bless your heart. So we are excited. Beautiful. Excited for that opportunity for you. And I'm looking here now. Yes, Selvin. I'm looking in the chat further and Everybody, you know, thank you, Jesus. I am blessed. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise Mercy. the Lord. I Look am at blessed. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 1,900 persons online saying thank you. That's a whole lot of thank yous. Canada saying thank you. America saying thank you. England, we heard it from the evangelist you are online thank you thank you god for your mercy paid in full paid in full wow. i want to pick up some of the persons on facebook patricia boyd percy from the rollington town wow. okay. Church. Okay. welcome we want to say welcome to the blackwood family we know that you're watching we know you're, you're you've been blessed and your cup is just bubbling uh, over stop root there's a Tisha right here on YouTube, and I believe that is my Tisha right there. It might not be a joy, but it's a Tisha evangelist. Thank you Amen. for giving your support to the cause of God. What do you have again there, Ruth? We have Jacqueline Samuels, Gay Downs Halford, Yvette Roach Osborne, Maxine Williams. She said, paid in full. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah from Facebook. Amen. It is such a Facebook delight to see. Buzzing. Such a delight to see and to read your, your feedback. And we feed from what you post. You Ruth, know, that's what gives us the life. Thank you. Sister Elena Thomas says, Ruthie Buki. I don't know that one, but she's beginning. You up. No, I wonder if that's my pastor's wife right there. Sister Elena Thomas, if that's you, bless you up. Well, I, I can't keep pace with what's happening over here on our YouTube route. It's frantic. It's, it's it's, it's excitement. People are just 
are bellowing their praise tonight for the goodness of God and the sacrifice of Jesus. It's all coming in glory. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, man, it's amazing how people are appreciative of the, the salvation that God has brought to them, Ruth. As we wrap up this evening, you know I have three messages for you. Message one, join us tomorrow morning, 9 15 sharp if you can come from that start at nine o'clock or 8 45 even better sit relax get yourself ready allow your breakfast to digest so you can join us 9 15 in the morning second thing i need for you if you've not done so yet to like subscribe and to share the links both from facebook and youtube ejc virtual church and last but not least, I leave with you a text from Revelation 3, verse 8. It says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. Amen. Amen. And you know I have to give you the Jamaican Patwa version of Revelation 3 verse 8. All right. And if you're from foreign land, you got to listen carefully. You just heard the English from the King James Version. Mm -hmm. But here is what the, st the text says in the Jamaican vernac vernacular, Re Revelation 3 verse 8. It says, Me know everything about Uno. Look ya. Me open one door in front of Uno when nobody can't shut. shut. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. Evangelist oh, Basil Jesus. Powell, Thank you brought Lord. the word of God from on high in our hearts tonight. And you're Ooh. online. You heard it from the evangelist. Nobody can shut it. God has opened the door of Praise salvation to you. The man in the middle and nobody can shut it. All you have yeah. to do is say, here am I, Lord. I'm surrendering to you. Salvation is available. Wow, wow, wow. What a word. I've mm. opened a door in front of you. And nobody, nobody can, can shut, shut it. it. <laughs> YouTube and Facebook. Nobody can shut it. Salvation is available to you. It was a joy to have been with you this evening. In fact, might I say, Ruth, it was a joy for me to have been with you throughout this week, the third week of the LEA Evangelistic Series, Christ, uh, the Cross and His Coming. I had a wonderful time as one of the hosts uh, celebrating with you, worshipping with you. I, I really am going to miss yes. you. I'm going to miss you. But I, 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 let me hasten to say I had a good time this week with you and in case you forget my name is selvin sylvester stewart and i am from the trench town seventh day adventist church my soul has been watered my heart has been blessed ruth what a great time we have had together i must say publicly i had a wonderful time with you as co-host ruth you really 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 Amen. made a difference to the worship the session Lord. thank you for being here with me i don't know who paired us but i believe it they was from the throne on high and, and, and so i'm thankful for you having afforded me the privilege to be here with you and to share with your worship experience this week i look forward to seeing you some of my friends and even calling you and even seeing you in the church that i will go to or maybe better than that if i this Basil Powell, I'll be seeing a whole lot of you right up there in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will say, I remember you. You were one of the hosts in the third week. Ruth, I'm done. Take it away. No, I had a man, good time. I have another wait, question wait, wait. for you. I Bring the camera one. on me right there. Zoom have... me in for a minute. Not too close. <laughs> right, but, but I want to tell my, 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 my listeners online right now. I really love you so much. Alwyn may not even know you, but still love you. Amen. Because we're all brothers and sisters. And let me tell you something. The burden has been on the hearts of the evangelists. The burden is on my heart. It's on Ruth's heart. Because we want all of you online. 1,900 and all of us on YouTube and those on Facebook. We want you all to come with us to our Father's kingdom. Amen. And until then, I pray that you will give your heart to the Lord. I had a good time with you. Look here now, man from Selvin in Jamaica. <laughs> Take care. One love. And with that, we turn over to the beautiful team of Harmonics from the Augustown Seventh-day Adventist Church. Harmonics. I will never be
to do 